So I um, got some shock cord like this and laboriously cut all the covering off it to expose the natural rubber. And there's the bungee. We had this um, old potato sack and I filled it up with rocks and dropped it over the side and it just hit the water, split, dropping all the stones and that was our test. So I thought, well, if we're not doing one more test, it's going to be me. <laughs> and I hit the water fuck, so hard, bang, right in over my head. And I thought, oh, well, that's it. And then all of a sudden, I'm out of the water again. And I'm thinking, it works. And that was the first modern bungee jump. That was the start of things to come. My weekends were pretty much taken up with Bungie. Different places, different crew. <laughs> I teamed up with AJ, and he was of a like mind like me. <laughs> Newtonian physics had been thrown out the window. Just carry on. Yeah, and we advanced very, very quickly. And of course, every bridge was getting bigger and bigger and bigger, and, and that was exciting. It's a bling. AJ was going overseas and we thought, oh, we better jump the Auckland Harbour Bridge. So we drive up onto the bridge, everyone jump out with their little bits and pieces down underneath the bridge and we're ready to go. Looks like the dead are coming for a visit, folks. What the police said was, whatever you're going to do, don't do it. <laughs> AJ turns to me and he goes, did you hear that? And I went, no. <laughs> then we just jumped. I just remember there was this lone policeman on the back of the deodar with his mouth just gaping open. AJ, you can forget your trip to Europe, son. Then the story broke. And then it was uh, all guns blazing after that. AJ went overseas and ended up doing some bungee jumping over there and we kind of drifted apart. I didn't really get a good handle on what was, how commercial it was going to be. I was just really testing the idea. 